What's up everyone? This is he who reacts and let me tell you a story. I watched Game of Thrones and I loved it. So after that I started reading the books and I enjoyed them. So two years back uh, House of the Dragon got released and after it got released I watched that first season and it was pure magic perfect you know maybe a little bit of issues with the time jumps and everything but still an amazing show so after season one uh i got a little bit impatient and i uh, bought the book uh fire and blood uh uh i started reading that book uh and now i know the story the whole dance i know it how it ends and everything so I don't know how this experience is going to be for me because uh, I know how the, I literally know everything that is about to happen. So, but uh, I still believe that I'm, uh, there's a way that I'm going to enjoy, you know, uh, this show. You know, it, it's possible, right, for me to enjoy the show, even though I do know what's going to happen. And I believe that there's a fair amount of people who also know uh, how this story goes. And I still believe that, you know, we can still enjoy it, right? Yeah. I don't know. We'll just see. But yeah, guys, we have House of the Dragon Season 2 teaser trailer uh, right now. And we're going to check it out. And an amazing show. Uh, I know you like it. So without wasting time, let's watch. Errors were made in the hours following King Viserys' death. The war be fought. Many will die. Oh. And the victor will eventually ascend the throne. There is no war so hateful to the gods. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. There's a war between kin. Oh. And no war so bloody as a war between dragons. Oh my god. I feel like uh, th th this is not enough, but it's enough, you know, like, I don't want them to show us a lot, but I want them to show us. I, I don't know, man. I don't really know what I want, but this looks dope. <laughs> this is exciting. I've missed the huge battles in, in Game of Thrones. Uh, see, we experienced some of the greatest battle in terms of cinema uh, when it comes to Game of Thrones, Battle of the Bastards and uh, what's that battle uh, uh, from that episode when Daenerys attacked uh, Jamie, Jamie and Sebron, you know, yeah, I forgot the, 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 uh, the, 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 the spoils of war, yeah, that, that episode, that was one of my favorite battles from Game of Thrones and it seems like we're gonna get, you know, more or less the same uh what's even cool about this is that it has a lot of dragons and which is better and ah oh, yeah man ah uh, uh it's an amazing teaser there's still gonna be you know an official trailer i think they're gonna dive deep uh, with the official trailer and uh it's gonna give us a little bit more you know, uh, of the amazing scenes and everything. Vega is huge. You know, like, it's always uh, impressive seeing Vega, the largest dragon uh, right now. And there's going to be more, even more dragons to see in this one, guys, which is even better. Ah, 
I'm so excited, guys. I, I as a person who knows the story, uh, I think I'm excited. Uh, I, I, I get even more excited than the person who doesn't know what's going to happen. You know, like usually when you know how the story ends and whatever, you've read books about everything. I think people get a little bit less excited about it because they know what to expect. And uh, it's no longer a thrill or something like that. But I feel like me knowing what's going to happen, uh, how the show is going to end and everything. I, well, they might make they might make changes there and there. But if they don't, they just literally take out everything that is in the books and just put it into live action. I think I would still be very happy with that. And yeah, even though I know how it ends, I, I'm excited. Like, I, I can wait for House of the Dragon. Like, it's the most anticipated show right now on my list. Uh, even films, like, everything that, in every project that has been announced, that it's, uh, that it's already started filming, that is, trailers are already out, or that are just rumors, everything out there. There is no project that excites me more than House of the Dragon. And the teaser... I think, uh, like it, it kept me, it kept me, it didn't, it didn't disappoint, you know, like still uh, leading me in that direction of excitement, knowing that I'm going to be rewarded and uh, anything like that. But yeah, guys, uh, I want to know what were your thoughts on the teaser. Uh, probably there isn't, there isn't a lot to go on, but still, I like to hear what. Uh, you have to say about it, please. Uh, by the way, subscribe. I am to, I am going to cover uh, the show. I'm going to react, and I didn't react for, uh, uh, for season uh, season one. Then I was not reacting to uh, episode. I was only reacting to trailers and stuff like that. But yeah, if you like to see me react to the shows, please subscribe and turn on that notifications bell on. And yeah, guys. Uh, uh, part the one came out I uh, really appreciate it if you watch my videos so I can boost those watch hours and yeah guys let me leave you here and as, as always as always thanks for watching